Hey, Jesse Collins with Pyramid Educational Consultants in the US. And um, just a little quick video about um, making some bouncing bubbles, which could be a science or a play experiment. There is a set of pictures and also a lesson plan that are both freely available with this lesson. And this is pretty simple and can be a lot of fun, um, both in the play part and in the um, creating the bubbles part. So I just took some warm water. This is a great opportunity if you have kids that are working on hot versus cold, you can work on some of that discrimination. Um, even just by feeling the jar, you could also have like a, a cup of water that has like some ice cubes in it that's kind of colder and see if they can help you find the warm water. And then you just need a quarter cup of warm water. So they could also work on pouring or even measuring if they're doing math or fractions. And we'll pull that, pour that into the bowl. Um, the other thing that is needed is dish soap and sugar. And so I just put some white sugar in here, but again, you could give them directions or even, um, you know, find the bowl with the white stuff in it or, you know, whatever you're kind of working on in regards to discrimination. And then we need two tablespoons. So if your kids are working on numbers, that's something that they could do. Um, and we put the sugar in here. Um, you could definitely work on requesting or following directions for a spoon because they need to um, stir that up. So um, I mean, I'm kind of doing this with you guys. My first time I'm making these. Um, and then we really want to have them stir it well until the, the sugar is fully dissolved. So you could talk a little bit about um, dissolving if that was something that you're, you're working on. And if not, just maybe work on the, stir the stirring or things like that. Um, and then after that, we are going to, once that's dissolved, pour the dish soap in. And... Um, that's just one tablespoon um, to work on some motor skills with opening the container, following directions like get the dish soap, um, you know, work on squeezing that in to the measuring cup. Um, again, just working on some of those motor skills. And then that goes in as well. Um, and then they just need to stir some more. Um, our dish soap is actually rose scented, so they even smell. So you could add some, I think you could probably even add some smells in or essential oils if you had kids that like, like really like smells a lot and that that was motivating for them. Um, all right, and I'm just kind of following along these directions. The link to this is also in the, the free lesson plan. Um, and basically that's it. Now you made the bubble solution. Um, you could also have kids follow directions to get a bowl, ask for a bowl that they need to mix it up in. And um, you do need the glove to make the bubbles bounce. We'll see if this works. And so again, another request, just some type of simple glove. Um, they could, if you're working on directions, could do right or left. Kids could work on their motor skills here. So putting that particular on. I don't actually have a bubble <clears throat> um, kind of wand. And so I just made one um, out of a pipe cleaner. It said you could do that. So let's give it a go. Oh, whoa. Uh, and then I think when it does happen, some really cool commenting lessons. Um, let's just put the left one on. Um, like maybe just like, wow, like I just had that reaction and it's kind of cool. They really do bounce. I also did big. Um, versus small kind of pipettes. So you can make bigger and smaller bubbles. Try to show the circuit. The bigger is a little bit harder. And then the bubbles kind of bounce. So this is just a fun little activity and um, could do a lot of learning with your um, kids or students and this this can be easily repeated so something you could do over and over especially if a kid likes bubbles just a little fun way to have them engaged